welcome to another video and welcome to the third week of the amazing readathon. Can you believe it? I can't, honestly. Face off just happened and you'll have to see my previous vlog to see all the chaos that that was and see all the books that I read. I'm like a little bit burnt out, but I'm still like enjoying myself and still reading. I am currently reading for Cape Town. I'm a little bit behind, so I'm trying to get there as quick as I can. And for that one, it is to read a book with nature on the cover. And for that, I picked Delilah Green Doesn't Care because there's like trees on the cover and also her tattoos are like flowery and stuff. Um, so it's just the perfect pick for me and I am loving this so much I'm over halfway already I've just been like binge reading it because I just can't get enough of it and also this gives me this also gives me 50 extra points because Ashley Herring Blake is openly bisexual so that's amazing and yeah I'm just like loving all of these characters I'm just so excited to read the rest of these books in this like trilogy I'm pretty sure it's like three books um we'll have to see I'm pretty sure it is because of like how many people are in this like little friend group um but it's so interesting that the other two books those people are with other people at the moment in this book so it's really interesting to see why they don't end up with these people and well one of them is very obvious but yeah I'm just like I'm loving Iris so much she is hilarious and Delilah Green does not care at all she is so funny and she is pissing Astrid off to the max um I feel bad for Astrid like she's going through a lot and Delilah is not making it easier on her um but I'm I'm liking how we're seeing the progression of their relationship and that they're growing a little bit closer and that Delilah is feeling a bit more part of these this friend group um when she always felt like left out so that's really lovely to watch um and yeah I'm just enjoying all of the bits and pieces I'm currently on sprints at the moment which is very fun I'm gonna make dinner and I'm gonna continue listening and I will update you once I've done all of that um but yeah I'm just having the best time so really excited to keep going hello so I'm currently cutting onion so if I start crying it's not because of the book it's because of that um but I wanted to say that this book is kind of stressing me out a lot because if I was planning a wedding like Astrid is and all of my friends hated the guy and like he was that guy because he's horrible that would just be so stressful like she's obviously already stressed and she's doing all of this stuff all of her friends hate him and everything is just not going well and he's an absolute like dickhead um so yeah I just like can't get over the fact that she's still going ahead with it but I guess that's part of her character I can't say no um but oh my gosh I hope that her book's good and that someone can make her very happy after this Spencer guy has just like literally ruined everything because I just got onion everywhere. Okay, I'm starting to cry. I best be off. But just know, I could never. <laughs> Hello. So I have just finished Delilah Green Doesn't Care and I rated it five stars. I absolutely loved this book so very much and everything about it. I love the conclusion to it. I love how the characters kind of rounded off with each other. Um, and kind of like set up a bit for the next books. Um, so I'm very interested to see how that all transpires. Um, but yeah, I finished another book. I submitted it and now I'm on to Madagascar. We're catching the bus there. And we're reading Sinner. I was going to read Priest, but I couldn't get the audio. And so Sinner is the second book in this like series, but you can read them by themselves. So I'm just going to do this. Um, and I've, I'm a little bit in, it's very different. If you didn't know, the prompt for this city is a book with religion or gods in it. And this is, as you may tell from the title, well, we've got priest and then we've got sinner. And yeah, this one's a bit interesting. We're following a girl who wants to become a nun, but all of her family are like, 
not wanting her to like throw her life away and miss out on everything and she hasn't experienced life yet um, and don't understand why she wants to be a nun um, especially at such a young age and so she's kind of got this like in between time before committing to it where she wants to experience a bit of like the stuff she hasn't experienced yet and so in comes her brother's best friend basically um who is a sinner <laughs> who yeah he's just a bad boy he's been with a lot of women and he takes it upon himself to help her and teach her basically everything that one needs to know about everything in that situation um and yeah so I'm really enjoying it. It's very different to the type of books I usually read. There's a lot of talk around like religion and Catholics, which is quite interesting. And I'm really enjoying the way that this book has been written and like the different perspectives that it's giving about like women having help after they've like had children and like homeless people and all of that. So it's it's really interesting because also the author is queer and she was highly involved with the Catholic Church as well. So she's really bringing her perspective out on this, on like the topic, um, which I find quite interesting. I'm not that religious, like not really that religious at all. Um, anyway, it's not really that important for me to discuss what I feel, um, but I'm not Catholic. So... I don't really know the strictness of all of this, but like, it's just taking a nice turn on it, I think. Um, and just discussing topics in a really good way. And I'm really enjoying that. And I'm also liking how most of the audiobook so far has been in the man's perspective, which I'm actually really enjoying. And this guy's got a really nice voice. So I recommend the audiobook. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm currently reading and what I'm currently enjoying as well. And I think I'm going to continue listening to that whilst I've got to pay some bills. <laughs> I've got to renew my car insurance and all of that. It's red Joe time. Not excited. I've been putting it off and it's due in like two days, which I never do this. But um, I've got to do it. So come along with me whilst I do that because how exciting. <laughs> Crying in money kidding me are you kidding me i hate this so much the fact that you have to register your car to drive it is just so annoying to me and the fact it costs 500 dollars to do so is ridiculous like are you serious right now <sighs> and it's like so much more because i'm under 25 and i'm a woman like that annoys me when they ask if you're a man or a woman and I know it puts the price up. <sighs> Hello. So I have finished Sinner and I gave it four stars. I actually really ended up liking it and yeah, I just really, really enjoyed it. It's really hard for me to speak right now because I can't see it myself um, because I've got my glasses off because I was going to chat with you whilst I do my makeup but that's often forgotten about once I start talking. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a great, like just a really good book to read for the prompt. That was a book involving religion because it was very heavily around that. Um, and yeah, I just found it like great. I just had like a good time reading it and it wasn't what I was expecting to read. So I will definitely give Priest a go once I can read it physically because I just didn't have time for this prompt. Um, and that's why I read the second one. But yeah, like I'm I'm definitely going to give it a go at some point. Um, don't mind me how I'm doing my makeup. It's just kind of like I can't see. So it's happening like this. <laughs> and I'm just around the house today, but I thought I'd want to film a little bit. So this is what's happening. Um, and then I did a sightseeing prompt of a book with only like with only words on the cover so like no animate like no pictures or um anything and I did Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes and I'm not going to go too much into how I liked this book because I am filming another video specifically for it um so you'll get to see that sometime in July I think late July that one's coming out 
um but I did like it I really did like it so yeah I that's what I'm gonna say on that matter but I got some sightseeing points for that um and then I where did I go where did I go after that <laughs> Oh, and then I read Grand Slam Romance for for stop eight, no, for stop seven, because I didn't have enough time and I was running out really bad. Um, and this was for a cover with lights or like some type of light on the cover. And this one has like actual lighting for the softball pitch. And I absolutely love this. I gave this five stars. Honestly, if you're looking for a fun queer like sporty graphic novel romance definitely go with this one this was so much fun and I just like loved every aspect of it and it was like adult but in like a really good way I feel like it was just done um and yeah I just loved all aspects of it it kind of brought a little bit of magic into it and yeah I quite enjoyed it and it was kind of just like finding yourself as well like it was like not coming of age but the characters went through a lot during this and yeah anyway I won't say too much because I don't want to spoil it but I really did enjoy that um and now we're going to Bangkok which I am not going to talk about on here because that will be in my last vlog for the week um but the prompt did get announced on Sunday so um I yeah I did start something for that but I'm not going to go into much detail about it um but yeah, I'm really excited and yeah, I'm just, I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a good time and I'm reading so much already. Um, and I'm just, yeah, I'm just having a good time and I'm glad that I'm doing this. Like in the middle, I was a bit overwhelmed with everything. But once I read Grand Slam Romance, like just 100 points, but it was um, a queer author and a romance book so I got extra points for that so it was kind of okay for me to do that and not get as many points um once I did that and I've like caught up now I feel much better and I just needed to get that out of the way I think um because I wanted to read I don't know what I was going to read but um I think I was going to read a much bigger book than that but yeah, and I also need to read Powerless at some point, but none of the prompts are working for it. So I might just have to read that on the side, but we'll see how we go with that. Um, but yeah, that's all so far. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit shorter than the rest of them, um, but you know, those things happen. Um, I like literally, I feel like when I'm on top of tar, I'm behind in everything else. So it's kind of just like a funny balance between things. So yeah. This is what's happening at the moment. Um, but, you know, it's all good. Um, but I just want to do my makeup because I want to feel, film a mid-year freakout tag because uh, I don't think I've ever done one. I don't know if I have before. But I really wanted to because all of my content at the moment is just tar and some people don't care about it. So, you know, some people aren't participating and might want to see other content from me. Um... So I should probably post something else in my life. But, you know, it's hard to stay on top of everything. Um, honestly, I think that's good enough for now. Yes. Um, but I thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>